in the context of hearing, what is the significance of language? And is different energy attached to a different languages? Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Inshallah. that there, there must be an energy attached to everything and <clears throat> this was in the talks of spelling. So if there's somebody's new turning in or if you remember the talks on spelling, there are languages that are current languages, more modern languages that were designed by shayateen. And they have a system called spelling, we're casting spells based on it and the etymology of words. So you take the etymology of words app and you open up spelling and it tells you the history and the root of that word. Grammar, we said before this was the summonsing of demons, casting and spelling. The spelling, spelling, mortgage <laughs> It's a death contract because of a morgue, marg. So you're in a contract to your death to kill you. Uh, a lawyer means liar, the one whom you hire to lie for you. So yeah, most definitely every language based on when it was made, how much shaitan tried to influence it. And there are a heavenly language and dunya language. dunya language. So in a system in which is so governed by shaitan now, this is like a complete dominion of shaitan, you can imagine his language is meant to destroy you, not to empower and to raise you. So when he tells you to tell people, hell, oh, the words that we use from that system is meant to destroy us and bring the energy down, right? They're curse words, cursed means now you become somebody cursed by Allah brought your energy down. So this language is meant to bring us down. Allah sent Arabic and sent Sayyidina Muhammad to raise… As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our vibration. So even the transliteration and the phonic of Arabic is a divinely language of power. So one whom wants to achieve a divinely power then recites in Arabic. If they don't read Arabic is okay because even the sound vibration of the Arabic has its immense secret of power from paradise. It's a paradise language brought onto earth and everything that Prophet brought was to battle negative energy. So when we say, Salaamu Alaikum means peace and blessings be upon you, means we are cleaning our environment and sending an energy of peace. Even the person has no intention of peace. But when you shield yourself with an energy of peace, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, means every recitation and every word has an immense power. One, we're seeking refuge in Allah from the shaitan, so immediately again a shield comes for the servant. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is that you called upon Allah with these two main names and that it opens Allah's rahmah and mercy upon the soul of that servant. 
then yes, then every zikr, every salawat, every recitation has a immense power. And Arab, Arab, because we say Zabon and Arabiya, the Arab has to do with Ayn al Rabb. Not what Arabs think, but Ayn al Rabb that it has to do with the vision from their Lord. So the secret of Arabic has to do with Ayn al Rabb that they, the power of that language grants them the Ayn, the vision of their Rabb. So it has an immense secret and the Ayn is Allah's ancient knowledges that Allah will dress them from this reality of ancient knowledges. So it has to do with an immense power within paradises and to be dressed by that power and to be dressed by Allah's ancient realities. So it's not the, the same, they are heavenly and they are heavenly vibrations, heavenly powers and they're meant for akhir zaman. These powers are meant, Allah sent this for these times of dajjal in which to recite and empower the nation. And this is a nation that has immense power in their recitation, in their du'as and in their salawats of Sayyidina Muhammad That what type of power they can unleash then Allah will show on last days with what these dajjals are planning and what the energies they're planning on producing. And it's counter and more powerful than can even be imagined than is what Allah has sent through Sayyidina Muhammad It's key for power because then every jahl could just pick up and start to recite Arabic, doesn't work that way. The key and mifta rahmah which is the name of Sayyidina Muhammad is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad that love, that ishq, if it enters into the heart, that reality is opened upon the servant, inshaAllah. Uh, as salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa Sayyidi then does uh, ear infection come from a different energy? Yeah, you, you can't say again all the because every time somebody gets sick they're going to think they're possessed. No, ear infection can come from dirtiness, from a creature, from a, 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 some sort of a microbe got into the ear. But what it does point out for us the importance of hearing. We said that if, if, if energy in your ear starts to affect their ability to walk. So imagine how powerful hearing is that if you get vertigo, you're dizzy, you can't walk. So on this electromagnetic field of earth, your two feet like two sticks that should not be keeping you up, you should have four because everything else has to have four legs to stand onto this earth. The fact you stay on two is that there's like a gyroscope inside of you, there's a power on this earth holding you. And Allah asked, was there a, ever a time you were something forgotten? Means that Allah has carried us all our lives. In the womb of our mother we were carried and upon this earth we are being carried. So there's an energy that keeps us upright and that's important in our energy practice and in our energy understanding. That type of sickness comes and then brings the awareness to the servant how important your hearing and your ears are. If you destroy them and begin to get vertigo and dizzy, shaitan already took you out of the game. So if shaitan is one by one taking out the servants, well you can imagine where he'd be hitting first is the ears. So if he start putting so many loud sounds and, and just horrible vibration, he's going to knock out their ear, their hearing and their ability to stand upright. So you see so many of these children may get vertigos and sicknesses which they can't even stand and that's all that shaitan wanted. You take out everybody before anything even began. So it has an immense, immense importance. The cleanliness of the ears, the cleaning of that energy and to keep that, that cleansing by listening to salawats, to listening to Holy Qur'an, to listening to the associations inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. So based on today's lecture regarding hearing, does it mean any kind of doubt or gossip or waswas 
is the downfall to the soul and what about those who spread it? Yeah, the one who speaks it definitely, those are already hadith of Prophet is eating flesh. And the only way to lose your good deeds is by qibat, by talking. As soon as you backbite, the one whom you backbited, Allah takes your hasanat and gives to them your good deeds, will give to that person your good deeds and take their sins and put upon you. And shaitan loves that, that talk about these holy people, why? Because then you pulling all the bad character and the burdens of the shaykh or burden of that person throws upon that servant and then they take the good deeds upon their soul. So it means shaitan is pulling people and pulling their good deeds away from them and that's why the immense, immense negativity. And any, anything that we're hearing definitely has an effect upon the soul. So when we hear ghaybat all day long, it's no longer news. It's just somebody sitting there and spreading you know rumor after rumor after rumor after rumor to destroy the souls of people. InshaAllah. Uh, as salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam uh, Sayyidi, in the light of uh, the topic of Ashab al-Kahf and portals, would it be correct to say <coughs> that Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam was transported through a portal and Sayyidina Ali alayhi salam was transported through a portal and that there, there may be many saints that are currently in a portal from over 300 years ago waiting to appear now? Can you please expand? Did you ask that one? <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's what we call Jabal Kaf. The mountain of Kaf, <clears throat> that is a, a portal that will open in the last days in which events from this earth are saved in that realm. So Sayyidina Ibrahim had an event with the angels of donating his sheep. At the end Sayyidina Jibreel got all the sheep of Sayyidina Ibrahim and said, so what I'm going to do with it? You know I'm Jabril, I'm Gabriel, why, what am I going to do with this? I don't know, keep it. But then they sent it into Jabal Kaf. That Imam Ali Salam and is in that realm and training whom he's training. And those whom been raised by Allah they're in that realm of Jabal Kaf. And that has a immense reality with this cave of Sayyidina Muhammad and this understanding, the one whom trains immediately enters into that realm. So when they train with their muraqabah, that's what we describe, the shaykhs are portals, 124,000 portals upon this earth at all times. And these are the souls of these awliya, their vibration, that's what NASA is trying to describe as portals. Something's happening in an energy like a sheet an energy field. A disruption in that energy field speeds up, speeds up and then they say they can enter and go. Shaitan has to make a device because the two powers of Sayyidina Sulaiman When he asked for something the Ifrit said, we'll bring it, it takes time. So anything of a haqqaiq shaitan has to make it into a device. But at the same time Allah's servants don't have to make any device, they have knowledge of the book. The book has the power. So it means then the awliya, their presence is a portal. And shaitan will make physical portals through these different devices upon earth to either bring shayateen and bring from the falak or dark matter into this realm to cause an immense fitna or transport people through other realms for their fitna. But Allah already has that established upon this earth and we gave the example through Sayyidina Musa salam. Immediately he saw the fire of the portal and stepped into it. It was so holy Allah said, take your shoes off here. And he entered into Divinely Presence in that same space and time. So it means that at any moment that reality is present. So then the muraqabah and the training 
of meditation and contemplation with this understanding of tariqahs is that as soon as you sit in discipline and enter into the cave of your meditation asking for the madad and the presence of the shaykh, the vibration and the energy of the shaykh as soon as he comes to be present in that muraqabah one is an immense cleansing because you don't ever try to open a portal to something you don't know. If you just sit in a place and just say, oh, you know, every demon will step in front of you and begin to make a portal for you to enter to that. So it has to be very clear on your GPS that I'm asking for my shaykh and then you read your madad and as soon as you feel the presence of the shaykh that's now a Divine portal because their vibration of the soul is emanating at these Muhammadan haqqaiqs. As a result of your meditation and tafakkur and contemplation Prophet described one hour of tafakkur for these people is like 70 years of worshipness. Means you will move through space and time of 70 years of these dressings of these emanations and these blessings. And Allah described on Laylatul Qadr another portal that if the Qadr hits you it's a thousand months of blessings and we described before if you get hit by that tajalli then every fajr salamun hiya hatta matla al-fajr at every fajr Allah will be dressing you by that tajalli because that portal has opened upon what Allah gives Allah doesn't take. So all of Islam is based on these realities that immense powers, immense lights and energies are coming through. The servant has to, Salik has to seek it. If they seek the world of light then they can reach to these realities, dress by these realities. Then imagine meditating with this shaykh of these realities and your half hour is like 35 years because Prophet gave the formula, one, year, one hour 70 years of worshipness. Half hour contemplating and connecting your heart is like 35 years of worshipness. In reality that if your light enters into that light, your light now is of a timeless reality. How long is it there and whole, how long and what type of tajalli and dress has been achieved upon it can't be understood. Many whom are experienced in this hours vanish in their physical life and they don't know what happened. They go, they come out and hours have passed but they know it was like a second. And that was the description of Israhi wal Maraj from Sitna Aisha salam. The Prophet was still warm, his space was warm, that he traversed into infinite realities and back but it was like a blink of an eye upon this earth. So these are immense realities of Malakut inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Najan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs Please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.